in today's tutorial it's going to be a continuation of fms 207 otherwise known as bus 207 and today we're going to be talking about some terminologies and then we're going to be taking our bearing from the study mode and we're going to be considering some certain mode of study as it relates to studying with this being said let's hop straight into it Okay, and I believe we all can see the board clearly. Okay. Now we have Now when we talk about study mode what are we talking about mode or study mm -hmm. methods let's use study method instead study methods what are we talking about now study method can be seen as a system okay a system a technique all right a study method can be seen as a study system technique or study system technique okay study system if study technique which is what purposefully done Purposefully done to what? Formalize. Purposefully done to formalize learning process. Now, in a layman term, study method is very essential for all students. As a student, you have to have a study method as a student you have to have a study method the system of study that is deliberate consistent resolute and continuous i think i miss consistency also in order to what to enhance your studying ability okay now let's take some examples of study methods what we just talked about is just definition to study method now what are the strategies what are the methods we have two of them according to our material we have the p q r s t i gave an assignment yesterday just very few of us responded what seems to be the problem so we have the p q s t and we also have we have the p q r s t and we have the black red green method black red and green method the pqst and the black red this method is an abbreviation for review question read summary then tests review question read summary and tests okay okay so we have just a moment i think i no r as supposed to be p all right so it's supposed to be preview so we have preview material then ask yourself questions read towards understanding these questions have a summary and put yourself to tests to ensure to be sure that yes what you have read what you have put 
all the information you have gathered, you actually remember them. Also, we have the BR, that's a black, red, green method. When we talk about the black, red, green method, what are we talking about? This is a thoroughgoing method. Okay? This method is a what? Thoroughgoing method. Now, developed through the Royal Literary Form, which helps students to ensure that every aspect of the question post has been considered but in both in exam and essay so we have black are we together i am surprised the comment section of this video is not um, is not active okay well, let's just um let's just use that for tonight okay now let's continue and that should be from the settings so um because i expect some some interaction should be popping in the comment section so now according to what we have here, we have the black red green method so we have um black red green method now this method is said to be thorough all right thorough green method that considers everything that has to do with an examination or an essay all right it is said to be thorough when you are thorough goes beyond intensive and extensive study you do this intendedly over and over again being thorough means going extra mile all right being thorough means going beyond the regular lengths whereby people get to and the form back so this is the most thorough read read the um, study method that is the b r g n so we have that as that now let's uh, let's continue <clears throat> Just a moment. Now, this method prioritizes the information in a way that relates directly to how they will be asked to use the information in an examination. All right. Now, the black denotes what you call all right the black denotes what we call blatant instructions okay blatant instruction the red is called reference The red is reference and reference point or required inputs. And we have green denotes green means which are subtle signal. All right, subtle signals one might easily miss or green light that gives a hint. Green light that gives what? Give hints. So we have that as that. So that's why it is said to be a thorough kind of study metal so we have that as that so now let's continue now 
let's take some um, points here. Let's take some points very quickly where we have some um, types of listening. All right. Types of listening. As we all know that for effective communication purpose, you need to pay detailed attention to what is being said. Okay. Now, speaking of the types of listening, we have listening for information, critical listening, empathic listening, listening for enjoyment. Now, let's take this. It says there's something called pseudo listening. All right, pseudo. We ah I will, I'd love to ask the question, but I don't know why the comment section is not working tonight. I think it's a thing from the setting of the stream of the stream. Remember this word in GST 103 on the level first semester, pseudo code. Where we talk about it being a framework for a proper program. Alright, where we talk about pseudo code, we talk about flow charts. Alright, so now here. Yeah, we come across it again but in the context of its usage here is not the same thing we use in just one whole thing now it is used in listening and it's said to be when you pretend to listen it's said to be pseudo pseudo listening pretend to listen they have that as pseudo all right pseudo listening so we also have selective listening. We screen out the parts that don't interest us. Selective listening is the type of listening that you select only the type, the part that interests you, and you screen out the type, the part that doesn't interest you. That's a selective listening. So we also have defensive listening when perceiving personal attacks, critics, undertone in communication where none is intended all right defensive listening you can detect that this person where you are going to i need to stop in your tracks so you quickly you quickly um put up your guard uh to avoid any of that so we have literal listening only to the content level of meaning and ignoring the relationship level of meaning. That's a literal listening. Okay, the literal listening. When you what? Cut off relationship level of meaning. Of meaning and accept only the content level accept 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 only the content level of meaning there we have that as that now now there's a point here given about short and there's a point here given about short and all right it says short and allow to put down a trunk all right to put down a chunk of information on paper very quickly. To put down a chunk of info on paper 
very quickly. So we have that as that. Now there's something called choral notes. When you are using choral notes, all right, choral notes taking system, a column of white space in the left. I think this is more like now um, how you get to take note down, all right? Just like we have it here, it says that note taking is a practice of writing pieces of information of often in an informal or unstructured manner. So we have informal unstructured manner okay informal and unstructured manner getting piece of information written down on paper or whatever it is you write the writing it on in an informal or structured manner so you therefore go back to proper structure it and we have some strategies to note making, which we talked about short and. Okay, talked about short and, and we have choral notes. We have chatting. We have outlining. So we have corner notes okay column of white space white space to the left a column of white space is left to the left side come of white space to the left side okay of the notes all right as they are written as they come up so that's one strategy we also have chatting chatting now here create a what a graph creating create a graph all right with symbols or tables with rows and colon symbols tables row and colon that is for chatting and we have outlining notes can be written freely many people structure their writing in an outline like you are listing something outline okay we have mapping ideas are written in tree structure mapping I guess are written in a tree structure. Connecting, you know, branches connecting to 
stem, stems, leaves connecting together. And here we have again, we came across this in our use of library SQL3. If the comment section was working, I would have requested that we give me the full meaning of this. All of us came across this in the Go Study Guide, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, SQL3 simply means, all right, talk about um, some certain things. All right, we'll talk about the survey questions, read, all right, review, then recite all these things under uh, the three hours. And we also have it is said to be a method for taking notes from all right, written materials through it might be better, though it might be better classed as a method of reading and gaining understanding. All right, when you get resources from the written material, although it's better classified as a method of reading and getting better understanding. So we have that as that. Now, proper understanding of English language is a prerequisite for an effective, all right, for an effective. Proper understanding of English language is the word prerequisite for is a prerequisite for what we call an effective communication in English language. All right, proper understanding of grammar. You need to comprehend, you need to understand grammar. And when, when we say grammar, what are we talking about? Grammar is a structure. All right. It is the rules and regulation guiding how you use English language. So you need to have a proper understanding of English grammar. It is a prerequisite. It is a demand, a requirement, a yastic for you to communicate effectively. Mm -hmm. Now, in linguistic, grammar refers to what we call logical and structural rules all right logical and structural rules all right in linguistic okay in linguistic grammar refers to what we call logical and structural rules so we have such rules and this field includes all right morphology okay morphology all right morphology we have syntax okay we have syntax we have phonetics phonology okay now the thing is that this, all these things you are making mention of is a topic on its own. And I want us to take it um, separately. So, you know, I want us to call it wrap here today so that uh, in our next class, we can take all this and um, making mention of properly and dissect them. I apologize for the comment section not working. I don't know why that is. Maybe I must have pushed the button when I was trying to schedule the class. That's very unusual. We apologize for that. Thank you very much, everyone. I look forward to seeing all the subsequent tutorials. For those of us that are here to submit our TME, don't forget that we are offering assistance with TME submission at a very all right, reasonable price. And for those of us who are here to become a member of the private class, do well to reach out to me today on www.tutorial.com. On our website, we have 
exam practice questions of GS. I think we have GS101 and BOS105 already, and we are going to do more from 100 level to 400 level. We are working on it very well. All right. And for those of us who are yet to become a member of private class, do us reach out to me so we can add you up. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you on the subscription. Have a wonderful evening. Bye bye.